Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to professionally retouch skin inside of Photoshop, and it's gonna be a quick two-step process. The first step is removing any imperfections, blemishes, and things like that. I'm gonna show you that first. Then we'll do an overall softening of the skin using a multi-layer process, and I'll show you how to do that exactly. And the whole thing takes about a minute if you do it quickly. The first time around, it takes a few minutes, but once you get used to it, you could go through the step. So I'll try my best to name the steps, step one, step two, and step three, so you could follow along anytime you need to retouch skin. Let's jump into the computer in Photoshop, and I'll show you how to do the process from scratch. So before we soften the skin here and retouch, we're going to remove any imperfection that we see that we want to remove. The fastest way is using the spot healing brush tool. So if you click this, it's the first option on top. Also, the command J will get you this, but you want spot healing brush tool. And on top here, you want to make sure the type is content aware. So make sure that's selected here. Everything else is the default. And you want to also change the size of your brush depending on the resolution. So if you see the circle, not the red one, that's just my highlighter, the one right here, that's how big my brush is. So I could zoom in and let's say I wanted to remove a mole. You wouldn't typically wanna remove moles in my opinion, but it's up to you. But if you just click and drag here, just like that, it could remove a mole for you. Once we soften the skin in the next step, that's gonna be even less noticeable. So you could do the same thing with some of these makeup spots here. You basically just go ahead and drag and click and it'll just help with those imperfections. So go ahead and look around your image and anywhere you like to apply this, just go ahead and drag and click and it should apply it pretty well. You could also do this with kind of fine lines under the eyes if you want to, but a lot of times that's not gonna look natural and the next step is gonna help us get rid of fine lines and wrinkles and we don't have to do it in detail. So I'll fast forward through this process of the spot healing brush, then I'll show you how to soften the skin in the next step. Now for doing the retouching and softening the skin here, the first step is take your layer, click on it, and duplicate it. Command J will duplicate the layer for you or Control J on a PC. Now once the layer is duplicated, this top layer, once it's selected, press Command or Control I, and that's gonna invert the layer. And finally, we're gonna go to the blend mode here. You see this normal drop down. bring it all the way to vivid light. So we should get this kind of gray look. And don't worry about what this looks like just yet. We have a few more steps to do here. The next step is we're gonna come over here to filter and then go to other and then choose high pass. And high pass somewhere between 24 and 25 is the magic number here. So go ahead and choose either 24 or 25 and press okay. And finally, we're gonna go back to filter again. We're gonna go to blur and we're gonna do Gaussian blur. Choose that option. And then this number is very important here. Anywhere between three to five, I notice, is a good number. So if you go close to zero, it's a significant amount of blur and it's gonna look very fake. And if you go all the way to 100, it's gonna be too little. So somewhere between three and four, I usually choose four and that gives me a good place to start. I could always dial this back through opacity. I'll show you that in a minute. So this obviously doesn't look good, but we're gonna fix it in the next step. So with the layer one selected, Go down here and you see this option that's called mask, add a layer mask. If you hold option or alt on a PC, so I'm holding option on a Mac here and clicking. And when I do that, it creates this mask here. And by holding option, it's the inverted mask. So I don't want this to be white. I want it to look black. So now let me come over here on this side and choose my brush. So I just choose the brush option here. The shortcut for it is B. You could go ahead and change your brush size here. Again, this depends on the resolution of your image, but in my case, I need to be somewhere around 400. I have a very high res image and the black circle here in the middle is my brush size. Hardness is zero, normal mode, opacity at 100 and flow at 50%. Those are my settings. And I wanna make sure this over here is switched with the white in the foreground and black in the background. So this little arrow switches that or the option X switches it between white and black. Now I could go ahead and paint here, watch this. As I paint, it's gonna smooth out her skin just like that. So this step is super fast and you could take your time or you could kind of do it as quickly as you want to if you don't have much time. And it's gonna smooth out the skin just like that. So I could do it over her bridge of the nose, under her eyes right here, over the lips, 
on her chin. Super simple process of just brushing it. If you make a mistake, if you press X, it's gonna switch this back, and then you could basically brush back the section you made a mistake on. If I press X again, it's gonna switch it again, and I could brush over it again. So go through this and smooth out as much of it as you like. Don't worry if it's too much just yet. We're gonna fix that on the very next step. Okay, now, in order to see the before and after, if you come to this layer we made, layer one, if you click the eyeball, you could see before, and now you could see after. If this seems like it's too much for you, for your taste or for your image, you could just go ahead with this layer selected and bring down the opacity somewhere closer to 50%, 70%, whatever you like. This is really more to taste and what you're going after. If you want a really high retouch looking model image, maybe 100 is fine. You could zoom out to get a better picture here. But again, that's your opinion of what you want the opacity to be. I usually take it somewhere between 80 in the case of this image, it looks pretty good. And I didn't take too much time removing blemishes and really taking my time with the finer brush, uh, retouching some of these parts. My brush is relatively big, but this process only took a couple minutes when I do it without explaining it. So it's a very fast process of doing high-end retouching inside of Photoshop. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media, tech and Photoshop videos, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.